Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and sometimes I marvel at the things that come into the store, and you just never know what you're going to see next. Now, for some of you, you think, well, this is modern stuff. I shouldn't really pay attention, or I don't need to, but uh, you're definitely going to want to take a look at uh, I'm Batman. You know, some of these guys here, because um, these are the type of thing that uh, are kind of out there at these um, different auction sites that you're not used to going to or seeing. Um, these ones were from an auction site called uh, Pristine Auction, which I had never heard of before. And um, I checked out and it was really kind of an interesting place because, you know, it's an auction site and there are things that are selling for all kinds of really wild prices on there. So, of course, some of you really like these guys, and I do too, but but you may, you may notice um, quicker than quicker quicker than lightning here that uh, the Queen's not looking so hot and uh, that's because uh, these coins are not real and so one of the things to look at right away on this is this is a real one over here you know the Queen's depiction is very crisp uh, all the lettering is very crisp on these and uh, when we're looking at these um, you know I use one of my favorite terms here wonky uh, the queen looks a little wonky. Um, they're actually pretty well done compared to some of the other some of the other fakes that we've had. But we're going to do a couple tests as a group here. I know no one likes group projects, but uh, we're going to do that anyways because we're all together, right? So we're going to go here with our little digital scale and see if we can maybe we can get to see that a little bit better as I put Batman on the scale here and see. So for those of you who didn't know, uh, these should weigh 31.1 grams. So one of the easiest ways to check on fakes and counterfeits, of course, is weight. So uh, 31.2, that's with intolerance for me on this scale. That's the piece I was showing you earlier from uh, the real thing. The real McCoy, Iron Man 29.5, Thor 29.5. So, whoops, I got to get my other coins out here. Captain America 29.9. I think Hulk would be the heaviest one in the group 29.7. But so they're all light, and we're going to try a couple more things just to show to you. Um, you know, this is a uh, Sigma machine that uh, lots of times you'll see dealers use these kind of to test and see whether or not something is correct. So, you know, it's got different settings. You got to set it to silver. And, you know, if you set it to silver, I have, I have it on the wand, so you can kind of see what we're doing here. We'll see how this goes. You want that, uh, that little bar to be between those two brackets, right? And so when we're doing that, it works. And when we're doing this guy, he's like not even... <laughs> The whole system crashed when I did that. There you go. That's how Captain um, America works, apparently. Let me see here. If we're going to see, so you get the arrow off to the side. Go again. Arrow off to the side. That arrow off to the side over here he is generally bad, bad news. Mr. Batman, get my hands out of the way. And... I need to apparently uh, reduce my reduce my um, guy here. He's having a hard time. All right, you get the idea. That's always they work fine until you turn the camera on. That's also a rule of thumb here. I got one last thing to try, which is we've we've messed with this guy a little bit, the old school coin cop, and um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on and set it. I'll put some light back on here. We're going to set this guy to match up here. We'll see. Now this this thing is for fun because I don't know if this will work right or not. But it's it's definitely kicking them out. So just remember when you're when you're going through this stuff and you're buying stuff online just to be careful. These ones are a little bit more deceptive. You know, it's easier for coin dealers I think generally to tell on 
older coins, what's real and what's not. Uh, you know, modern stuff, it's just so many things that come out. Here's a Kruger and let's see if this tests right on. So you see the, the coin cop worked on these. When I have general one ounce silver pieces, it seems to work really well. So it's kind of a nice little backup, 1970s backup, Starchy and Hutch kind of thing. So if you want the uh, real Batman to please stand up, you're going to have to check on some place with dealers that know what they're doing. But, but be careful when you're buying stuff online um, at Swap Meets Yard Sales um, because these will fool lots of people. But, um, you know, the size and dimensions are pretty close on these for how big something should be. And uh, one last thing we'll do. That little, I don't know if, let's listen here. I don't know if you can hear. Let's try it one more time. That's silver ringing. Nope, now I'm hitting it with the. It dies out a lot faster on the ring test on, on stuff that's not silver, just for an FYI. All right, guys. I'm Batman. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can leave your comments down below and uh, subscribe, like, all of the good things. Thanks for watching.